Hi, my name is Mike D'Angelo, and I'm a developer relations engineer at Google. This is the first part of a series describing how you can optimize the performance of your Looker instance. Performance in a Looker instance can often be improved by reducing the number of projects and simplifying overly complex models. In this series, we will clean the cruft that builds up in a Looker instance using a tool called Henry. Henry is an open source tool that's available from github.com slash looker open source slash Henry. It is written in Python and is offered for use free of charge without any warranty. It was named Henry as a bit of a pun on the Henry brand of vacuum cleaners popular in the UK. If American wrote it, maybe it would have been called Hoover instead. To use Henry, you'll need access to a Linux command line. Any Linux distribution will do. Debian-based Linux systems are very common. Debian, of course, but also Ubuntu, Mint, and many others. They all use the apt command for package management. I have the install commands with apt in this video. If you're using Windows, you can set up WSL, Windows Services for Linux, and run the Henry command in a virtual Linux environment. Henry should also run fine from Mac OS, but hasn't been tested that way. If you're not using a Debian-based Linux system, you could search for the proper install commands with your favorite search engine. To run Henry, you'll need Python 3.7 or higher installed. You could check what Python is installed on your system by entering the command python3 version at the command line. If you don't have the correct version, you will need to install it. For Debian-based systems, you can do this with the command sudo apt install python3. You will also need the pip command manager. Pip is the Python package manager. Check if it was installed already with the command pip dash dash version. If it is not installed, you can install it with the command sudo apt install python3 pip. Finally, you'll need to install the Python 3 virtual environment module with sudo apt install python3 venv. Next, we'll create a Python virtual environment. First, create a directory, just call this directory Henry. Create it with the command make directory tilde slash Henry. Then run Python 3 dash M V E N V tilde slash Henry. That initializes the virtual environment. The next step is to install Henry. Change to that directory with the command cd henry. Now run the command bin slash pip install henry. The pip command will fetch the Henry program from the Python repositories and set it up. In order to use Henry, you will need to provide Henry with a set of API credentials. You will store these credentials in a looker.ini file. The INI file can have multiple sections, with each section corresponding to a different Looker instance with different credentials. To create a set of API credentials for your user, log into Looker.
Then navigate to Admin and select Users. Filter the users list by name, click on your user, and select Edit API 3 Keys. Click on New API Key. The client ID and client secret can be copied to the clipboard. Now switch back to the terminal and open the file looker.ini with your favorite text editor. For this video, I'm using Dano. Set the section name to something descriptive of your environment. You could use names like prod, QA, or dev, or you could use the host name. I'm using Sandbox CDL since I'm attached to the Sandbox cluster. Just type the name inside square braces. Set base URL to the URL of your Looker instance. Note that the port number for the API is 19,999 for some systems, but it may be port 443 for you. If you aren't sure, just try it each way. Nothing will be damaged by using the wrong port. You'll just get an error message. Next, set the client ID and client secret. Paste in the values that you obtained earlier. Lastly, verify SSL should be set to true. Now save the ini file and exit. In the next video, we'll start to use Henry to analyze the health of our Looker instance.